Okay, we're going to talk seriously about composition of functions. I have my headphones on tonight because the sound is just superior. Um, we're going to be talking about f and g and composing them. Here's f, it's y1, and y2 is 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. That's what g is, and you see them defined up here. Okay, now we're going to graph these because we need to know the domain of each. Let's do that. Um, I am going to, let's see, what am I going to do? I'm going to move up to y1 and I'm going to go over to the equal sign and I'm going to hit enter in order to turn it off for a minute and then I'm going to graph y2, which is 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. And as you can see, it goes up forever, but that's the range. So let's look at the domain. The domain, well, this tilts out to the right, and it keeps going forever. It tilts out to the left, keeps going forever. And so the domain of g of x is negative infinity out here on the left of the x-axis to positive infinity way out there to the right on the x-axis. All right, let's look at the other function. Go back to y equals, and I will go over to the equal sign on y1 and hit enter. That turns it back on. Then I'll come directly down to the equal sign on y2 hit enter, that turns it off, and I'll graph. This is the line y equals x plus 3, which is f of x. This definitely goes to the right forever and to the left forever, and so the domain of this is also negative infinity to positive infinity. When we add, subtract, multiply, or divide our functions, we have to take the overlap of the two domains. And the same is true for finding the composition of the two functions. But the overlap of negative infinity and positive infinity is negative infinity and positive infinity. So that will be the domain of our finished product. OK. So let's find f of g of x. We have, we have f of x, which equals x plus 3. And then we have g of x, which equals 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Now g of x is going into f of x. Quite literally, this g is going into this f, whatever is behind it. And uh, the way I think of it is that the one behind is the zombie grabbing the one in front. It works for me. OK, here we go. f whoops, wrong color. Let's get rid of that and we'll go f of g of x is going to equal 2x squared minus 5x minus 3, that's g of x, and then plus 3. Remember f of x was x plus 3. And this 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 goes in for x. So now our f of g of x is going to be 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 plus 3. Well, minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 
And so our f of g of x is going to be 2x squared minus 5x. Now let's try putting that. Let's try putting that in here in the answer box and see what my math lab says. So 2x square, and then right arrow key to bring it down, minus 5x, minus 3, ah, 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 no minus 3. Let's check the answer. Whoa, are we smart. And what is the domain? Right there. We're going to say negative infinity to infinity. Parentheses, negative infinity, comma, infinity, parentheses, closed. Check answer. Excellent. Now, g of f of x. We're going to do that. Okay, once again. f of x is x plus 3 g of x, oops, wrong color, again. It's hard to remember to change colors, but it really helps. And besides that, it's more fun. g of x equals 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. This time we're going the other way. This time we're going to take f and put it in g. So we're going to be looking for we're going to be looking for g of f of x which means we're going to have two times f of x squared minus 5 times f of x minus 3. So we have to ask ourselves, what is f of x? All right, f of x, you recall, is x plus 3. So this will give us, and I'm going back to purple now. It's only so much, I only have so much patience for pink. Okay, two times x plus 3 squared minus 5 times x plus 3 minus 3. So that will be 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 3 minus 5x minus 15 minus 3. And that will give us 2 parentheses x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 5x minus 18 which will be 2x squared plus 12x plus 18 minus 5x and conveniently minus 18. Well, I like that. The 18 and the negative 18 cancel out. I mean, they zero out, leaving me with 2x squared plus 12x minus 5x is 7x. So plus 7x. And that's it, isn't it? 2x squared plus 7x. Unless I've made a terrible mistake. 
we'll find out. Okay, 2x. Yeah, 2x squared. Right arrow key. Plus 7x. Check answer. Yay! Woo! I always worry a little bit. And the domain, we already talked about that, is going to be negative infinity, comma, infinity. With parentheses because infinity never takes a bracket. Okay, this problem is a little bit different. It's a composition problem, but this time we're composing a number. All right, f of x is 6x plus 1. g of x is x cubed, x to the third power. And we're going to find f of g of negative 1. We're still going to follow the same principle. We're going to take g of negative 1 and go backwards into f. Or f is the zombie that's going to gobble up g of negative 1. Either way, so you have a few nightmares. It's OK. So let's get to work on this. We've got f of x equals 6x plus 1 and g of x who appears to be forever cursed to be pink, the poor thing, x to the third. Now, we're not putting in, we're not taking g of x and putting it into f we are going to take g of negative 1. So we have to find out what that equals. g of negative 1 is going to be parentheses negative 1 to the third power, which is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. Think of that. So when we get to f of g of negative 1, what we're really going to be finding is that since g of negative 1 is negative 1, we're going to be finding f of negative 1, which means we take, g of f, we take f of x and put a negative 1 in for every x, and there is only 1. 6 times negative 1 plus 1, which will be negative 6 plus 1, which will be negative 5. Let's check that out. Check the answer. Fantastic! Okay, that's all there is to composition. You can do this. Piece of cake. Talk to you later.